but this is still depending on x. You see, this one is, is to prove that sine x and uh, x are linearly independent, it might be a harder one to do using the definition. Uh, here, it might just be easier to use the wrong again. Because you can say, you know, if sine x is a solution and if x is another solution of the differential equation, you know, then, you know, if, like, say, if y1 equals sine x and if y2 equals x, and we prove that the Ronskin, which is sine x, x, and this here underneath is the derivative of sine x, which is x, which is cosine x. And here the derivative of cosine x is 1, right? And then when you uh, figure out the determinant of this, you will get sine x minus x cosine x. Now, of course, this should be, if it is 0, it should be true for all values of x. Right? So, uh, so let's choose. Um, uh, let's choose x to be pi over four, or pi over three, whatever. Okay. Then this would evaluate into sine pi over three is root three over two, minus, right, uh, pi over three times cosine pi over three is half. And this is certainly not zero. Um, therefore, uh, linearly independent. All right. Now, notice that the only value that would make the Ronskin equal 0 is if x is 0. Because if x is 0, you would get sine 0, which is 0, minus 0, which is 0. But, but that's a fairly trivial case, because if you are claiming that 0, if x is 0, that just means y2 is 0, and y1 is 0. So this is, this is like a kind of a redundant way of saying that the, the solutions you're saying that 0 and 0 are linearly independent, which is fairly obvious. They are dependent, linearly dependent. Yeah. You know, so, so, so you are safe. So this is uh, linearly independent for all x. Right? Because if you're claiming that y1 is 0 and y2 is 0, you basically have the same one, the same function. And the same function is linearly dependent on itself. It's not linearly independent of itself. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. But there's no other value that would make that true. Right. Yeah. So that that's how you would prove that they're linearly uh, independent. 